Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth math challenge in the series of Baiju's math challenges here for you and this problem at first glance looks a really simple one because uh, you must be just familiar with the basic ideas of profit, loss, cost price and selling price. That's all, right? What is given here? A phone and a laptop are sold for $960 each. So selling price of phone is $960 and selling price of the laptop is also $960. However, a profit of 20% has been made on the phone and on the laptop, a loss of 20% has been made. So we have been asked to figure out the overall profit or loss. Now, majority of the time, students when they look at the question the first instinct is to think that hey there's not going to be any profit or loss here because the selling price of both the laptop and the phone are the same and the profit is 20% and the loss is 20% so it may just cancel each other out if you have thought in a similar direction well you're in for a surprise here because the answer is not equal to no profit no loss let's check out how this is to be done now all right, so uh, we are familiar with the basic ideas of profit, loss, cost price, and selling price, right? Like, uh, what is the relationship between cost price, profit percentage, and, uh, 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 you know, selling price? Like, let's suppose I tell you that cost price is 100 and uh, profit is equal to 30%. If I ask you to figure out the selling price, this is going to be a fairly simple question, right? So uh, you would do 100 plus 30% of 100 and then you would go on to say that selling price of this is going to be 130 fairly simple and if there is a loss you would do minus that's it right so i'm going to do a similar thing here but here the idea here is that we don't know what the cost price is so uh, let's just assume that the cost price of the phone is going to be cp1 and on the phone as as you remember we made a 20 percent profit so plus 20% of CP1 is equal to the selling price of the phone. Selling price of the phone was 960. Now, if we were to simplify this, this is going to be what? 120% of CP1 is equal to 960. Simplifying, uh, we're just trying to figure out what was the cost price of the phone. So CP1 here is going to be 960 multiplied with 100 divided by 120. Canceling this out, there you go. The cost price of the phone was $800. Now, in a similar way, let's go ahead and figure out the cost price of the laptop. Remember, on the laptop, we made a 20% loss. So, how are we supposed to do that? Let's suppose the cost price of the laptop is CP2. Now, since we made a loss, we're going to go with minus 20% of uh, the cost price. Now, that's going to be equal to the same uh, selling price because both phone and laptop were sold for $960. Simplifying this, this becomes 80% of uh, CP2 is equal to 960 and CP2 here is 960 multiplied with 100 divided by 80. Now cancelling this off, this is 8 times 12. So CP2 here, as you can see, is equal to 1200, right? So cost price of the phone is 800. Uh, cost price of the laptop is 1200. So the total cost price, as you uh, can see here is going to be 2000 and the total selling price selling price of the phone plus the selling price of the laptop 960 plus 960 that's going to be 1920 right so the total cost price is 2000 the total selling price is 1920 what have we done here we've made a loss actually how much has been the loss the loss as you can see i'm going to rub this out for some up, up space to up, up write this down so as you can see we've made a loss of 80 so loss is equal to 80 and loss is calculated on the cost price. I'm sure you know that. So 80 divided by 2000 multiplied by 100, canceling this off. So you see, we have actually made an overall loss of 4%. That's the reason why I said this problem is slightly on the trickier side. All right, now I am going to tell you when will be the situation where you will neither make a profit nor a loss. That will happen when the cost prices of both the items are the same. Like let's suppose the cost price of the phone was 960. The cost price of, of the laptop was also 960. Profit was 20% was here. Loss was 20% here. You can figure out the selling price, right? The selling price is going to be how much? 120% of, uh, of 960 since we made a profit here. And the selling price here is going to be 80% of 960. Uh, uh, figure out the calculations and then you will see that total cost price, total cost price 
and total selling price are going to be equal and in this particular situation there will be no profit no loss all right so remember this when the selling prices are the same and the profit and loss percentages are the same there will always be a loss but when the cost price of the items are the same and the profit and loss percentages are the same well there will be neither profit nor loss so going to be a homework for you again this is going to be on the trickier side but but not as tricky as as we above uh, you know solved it so do give it a shot and type out your answers in the comments and lastly guys if you like what you've seen here hit that like button please it will mean a lot to us uh, to bring out further amazing content like this for you and then share it with your friends you know i'm sure they'll find this idea pretty helpful and lastly if you still haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you for your time take care and bye bye